Hello and welcome back. Now that we have set up our development environment and familiarized ourselves with the new tech, it's time to start building our own projects. In this video, we are going to explore the general structure of custom projects within the Log SDK, and then examine the project template provided for custom oscillators and the various resources available for a project build. Most of what will be presented here is an elaboration of the detailed documentation provided by Korg, links to which are in the main article. The Log SDK provides project structure templates for producing custom oscillators and effects that can be found in the appropriate module subdirectory. The general project directory structure is the same for oscillators and effects. However, certain files within the project folders are specific to the module we intended to develop. For oscillator projects, we can navigate to log-sdk forward slash platform forward slash newtech digital forward slash osc. Alternatively, for effects projects, use modfx or delfx or revfx. Figure 1 lists the folders and files located in this directory. The ntk dig unit file and the build subdirectory and its contents are only present after a project has been built. The LD and TPL folders contain essential files for the build process and should not be edited or removed. The LD folder contains files that control the link process and the TPL folder contains the oscillator entry template which is required to interface the user program with the unit. Most of the files in the project directory require no modification for new projects. The files which require modification are the source code manifest.json and project.mk and these are highlighted in red in figure one. Manifest.json and project.mk are a set of files required by Makefile for the building process. There is also a folder present called test which contains examples of module source code. This folder and its contents are for illustration only and are not integral components of a project structure. We can therefore remove this folder when we begin our custom build. Let us now examine the customizable files. The manifest file is a JSON dictionary that details the program's metadata. The elements of the manifest file have the following structure. We must specify the following string variables. The platform should be set to newtech-digital. The module will be one of the following keywords. OSC, modfx, delfx, or revfx. The API version must be specified in the format major.minor-patch. The program version follows the same format as the API. Finally, the program name can be about 10 characters in length. The dev underscore ID and PRG underscore ID variables are currently unused and can be set to zero. If we are building an oscillator project with user parameters, we must specify the number of parameters in the num underscore param variable and the details of each parameter in the params array. The arguments of the params array are themselves arrays and list the name, min and max values and value type of each parameter. The type parameter can either be a percent type or typeless. In the case of typeless values, the minimum and maximum values should be positive. The displayed value will be offset by 1 such that a 0 to 9 range will, will be shown as 1 to 10 to the user. For effects projects, we set the num param variable to 0 and set the params array to an empty array. Rather than directly edit the makefile, the project.mk file is included by the main makefile to simplify customization. We can specify the following variables. The project variable lists the project name and will be used in the file name of build projects. 
C source files are listed with the UCSRC variable and C++ source files with the UCXXSRC variable. Header search paths are listed with the UINCDIR variable. Custom GCC define tags are listed with the UDEFS variable. Linker library flags are listed with the ULIB variable. Finally, linker library search paths are listed with the ULIB DIR variable. The details of Makefile are complicated, and due to the limited scope and time constraints of this project, we will be dealing with them in oversimplified terms. In those terms, a Makefile is a set of instructions which acts as a project build automation tool that describes the various command sequences required to build a final product by bringing source code and non-source code elements together. Each project type template has its own makefile that can be used for custom projects without any direct modification. The only item we need to check is that the platform dir variable at the top of the makefile is set to point to the platform directory as this path will be used to locate external dependencies and any required tools. Any given project will have unique source code based on the core API relevant to that project type, which describes that particular program's behavior that the programmer must define. Certain header files may need to be included in the main implementation to enable those behaviors. The core API for user oscillators is described in userosc.h. Any custom oscillator projects must include this header file in the main implementation file and also implement certain functions. Let's look at one of the examples provided in the test folder. If we navigate to the src subfolder and open the sign.cpp file, we can see the general structure clearly. The osc underscore init function is called on instantiation of the oscillator and should be where any required initializations are performed. The osc underscore cycle function is where the waveform should be computed. This function is called every time a buffer of frame samples is required and those samples should be written to the yn buffer. The output samples need to be formatted in Q31 binary fixed point representation. The osc underscore note on function is called whenever a note on event occurs. We can use this function and osc underscore note off to implement certain behavior when a note on or note off event is triggered. However, we can write fully functioning oscillators without using either of these functions. Similarly, the osc underscore note off function is called whenever a note off event occurs. The osc underscore param function is called whenever the user changes a parameter value. This is where we will assign parameter values and update any dependent variables. The Log SDK provides extensive primitives and functions for mathematical waveform computation and digital signal processing utilities. If any of these utilities are used in your custom project, the header file must be included in the main implementation file. These files are extensive and aren't covered directly here. However, links are provided in the main article associated with this video. The following steps outline the general procedure for creating a new project and apply to all modules. We are going to build a dummy project to illustrate the process by using one of the example oscillators from the osc forward slash tests folder and get rid of everything else. We'll place the copy in the demo folder to keep things tidy. Step one, create a copy of the template project for the target module and rename it as you see fit. Step two, ensure that the platform dir variable at the top of the makefile is set to point to the platform directory. Step three, add source files. Step 
Step 4. Edit project.mk to set the desired project name and source files. Step 5. Edit manifest.json and set the appropriate metadata for your project. We can now build this project, if we like, using MSYS. If we run the command make, we should see the build folder and unit file appear in the dummy directory. Now we are fully prepared to build a custom oscillator for the Log SDK. In the next video, we will attempt to emulate the famous Roland Supersaw with the NTS-1. Thank you.